Time does, and Danny and the Shacks adjusted to their new life. Danny and his friends prayed and asked God to give them wisdom to live in this new land. Above all, they continued to trust God that He would take care of them. Soon, Danny was placed in a high position and sent off to oversee operations in various parts of the land. Meanwhile, the king appointed the Shacks over a province in Babylon. One day, the king had a big announcement. What a great king I am! Look at all I have accomplished! All praise and glory go to me! Wait until you see what I have built. A 90-foot golden... A 90-foot golden statue of our favorite person, me! All were informed that when the beat dropped, they would be required to fall down and worship the golden statue. Whoever would not would be thrown into a furnace of blazing fire. The Shacks had a big problem. They knew they couldn't bow down to anyone but God. There's no way we're bowing to that thing, right? Of course not. We can't. One, two, three, four, five. Shacks, Shackies, Shacksters. I know you have your own beliefs, but you do realize what needs to happen here, right? I mean, it's going to be really obvious if everyone's bowing to the statue and you three aren't. Perhaps the king won't mind. He loves us. Maybe he will make an exception. The Shacks thought the king might change his mind. What if he decided that no one should bow to the statue at all? They could just imagine. To my loyal Babylonians, I was just talking to my very best friends, the Shacks. And they have reminded me that there is only one God. So I am taking down the statue. We will all worship the one true God. (laughs) Although by now, I'll bet you realize that that's not what happened. This is what happened. 
If anyone does not bow to the statue, I want him thrown into a fiery hot furnace immediately. <gasps> You're not thinking this through, Shakizzles. King Neb respects your beliefs. I know for a fact that he was impressed with your god. Your god helped you win the warrior challenge. Babylon strong! Many people are impressed with God, but just because a person is impressed doesn't mean their life has changed. We don't want to lose you. You will be of no use to your God after you've been toasted. If you'll make just this one compromise, you'll be able to keep serving God for a long, long time. It's easy to compromise. And it's easy to get caught up in worshiping other things. But we must worship the one true God. We won't bow. <laughs>